time for another Wacky Math Wednesday. We are going to do our puzzle up at the top, finding out what that heart, smiley face, and the no sign is. And then we are going to show multiple ways to model the number. And then down at the bottom, once again, we're going to subtract within 20. Practice that number manipulation. So let's get wacky. Here I have 47. How much more do I need to get to 50? This is really helping us with those tens. So if I'm at 47, I already have four tens and I have seven ones. How many more ones do I need to get to the next 10? Seven plus what equals 10? Three. So you need three plus 47 to equal 50. Now when I look at my smiley face, here I have 18. What would I subtract to get this number back down to 10? So 18 is a teen num number. It's tens and some ones. How many ones do I need to take away here? I need to take away eight ones. I know you knew that. Now here is 12. How much more do I need to add to get to 14? Use what you know about numbers. 2 plus what equals 4? And I already have my 10, so I don't have to add another 10. I just need two more. Excellent work. So for your heart, you should have gotten 3. For your smiley face, you should have gotten 8. And for your no, you should have gotten 2. Excellent work. This is the fun, showing numbers in multiple ways. So in each of these boxes, I'm gonna go across with this number, I'm gonna go across with this number, and then I'm gonna go across with this number. So this number I was given an expanded form. I wanna change that to base 10 blocks, standard form, and written form. So with the base 10 blocks, I need four hundreds. There are my four. And I don't have any tens, and I need six ones. So this number is 406. That's the way I would write it. Now, written form, there's no word bank for all that practice we did with name that number. Let's put it into action. Four, 100 is here if you need it. Four was here if you needed it. 100, six is nowhere. Six, you had to know that one. Also, when you look around your classroom, when you look around your school, your house, sometimes there are number names around you, especially in class. So make sure you look at your environment to help you if ever you need it. So here we have 314 written in written form. 314. So I know 14 is 10 and some ones. So I would have 300, 110, and those are the ones for 14. 300 plus 10 plus 4 is 314. And with my base 10 blocks, I'll have 300, 110, and four ones. See, you're showing the same number in multiple ways. And yesterday, we actually used some of these ways 
to do actual subtraction. So it's good to be able to see the number in different ways. And the last one for showing the number in multiple ways, I have 248. That is written in standard form, but I could take it and write it in expanded form, 200 plus 40 plus eight. Base 10 blocks, I would need two hundreds, four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. And eight ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now for the written form, name that number, two hundred forty eight. Ta da! Perfect. This is great practice. So now, subtraction within 20. Let's look at subtraction within 20. So first, I have 17 minus 5. I'm always going to use that strategy of getting to 10 because 10 is our number system. So if I have 5, I know I need 5 more to get to 10 because, look, I need the 10 here. And then I need seven more to get to 17. So five and seven, what would that give me? That would give me 12. So that lets me know 12 plus five is 17. Always look at how it connects. Here, I have 16 minus 6. This should be so simple for us because we have 16, and if I just take 6 away, I would have 10. We, we had a teen number, and I know 6 plus 10 is 16. Now, here I have 15 minus 3. So I can look just at this five and three. Look at my one and look at the three here. So the five is in the ones place and I'm just gonna take away three ones from that five. Five minus three would give me two, but I still have that 10. So I would have 12. If I look, 12 plus three equals 15. You have some space down at the bottom. If ever you would like to add these together to just check it. There's space down here to check, check them. So if you'd like to do 12 plus three, you have your five, you know that it equals this number. So again here, 14 minus two, it's that four minus two. I know that that would give me two, and I still have that 10, which is going to give me 12. So I know 12 plus two is 14. 14 minus two is 12, 12 plus two is 14. Great number manipulation today. I hope that you're doing well. And I will see you soon. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me. I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.